guys, Courtney here. And I'm Carly. And today on Kate and Kate, we're going to be doing a fun collab with our friend Anna Willenstein. Yes, we are going to be showing you what is in our makeup bags. And yes, and her channel will be linked down below. She's also going to be doing that video. And she sent us a little clip, so we're going to insert it here. Yes. What's up, girls? I'm so excited to be collaborating with Courtney and Carly for this What's in My Makeup Bag video. My name is Anna Willemstein, and I would love to have you guys check out my channel. I make videos all about living your life for Jesus, all about that Christian girl life. So I do devotional videos, I do scripture journal videos, but I also do lifestyle videos like morning routines, night routines, what's in my makeup bag, tutorials, clothing hauls, fun stuff like that. Anyway, love to see you there. Okay, bye. Make sure you guys go and check her out. Her channel's linked down below. She's yes. super fun. If you're not already subscribed to her, you're missing out. Seriously, she makes the best videos. And go leave the lipstick emoji on her video so yes. we all know that you came from our channel. Yes, and so now we're just gonna go ahead and hop in straight into it. So we've both had these makeup bags for quite a while. Yes, they came from Juicy Couture probably yeah. five years ago. Our friends got them for us for Christmas and they held up really well. And as you can see, they are full. Okay. So here is a little sneak peek. It's not really organized. I wish it was. Here's what mine looks like. Yours is probably more organized than mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling some stuff out. First of all, I have my highlighter, highlighter brush and then my blush brush. Ooh, it has mascara or something all over it. And all the products that we use on a in our what's in our makeup bag, we will link down below. Yes, and then I also have my oh my goodness. This is not fun. My eyeliner was open, now it's got all over the products. Anyway, I have all of my like eyeshadow brushes in here Smashbox as well. Smashbox brushes. Yes, these are my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my brushes too, but mine are a little more organized than Courtney's. Anyway, but um, they are all Smashbox, minus two of them, that are IT Cosmetics brushes. But I love Smashbox brushes. And these were Lexi brushes. Those are ones you got in your Ipsy bag. Yes, I love when Ipsy sends you makeup brushes. brushes. Yes. Okay, so I also have some fingernail clippers and then my favorite mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and this is just a little mini sample of it. Okay, I have a beauty blender. I also have one of those. Mine's, mine's is, um, mine's kind of a little deformed. Yeah, mine's had a rough life. Yeah, mine's starting to fall apart and I'm kind of sad. And mine is wet. So, I didn't actually have this in my makeup bag since I just used it. And then I also have my Tarte Precision Longwear Eyeliner. I this have the same spill, eyeliner. Or this was what was open. So that's kind of a bummer. This is our favorite eyeliner. Gotta go clean all this. Yes. Okay, and then the next thing I have is my Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This concealer has lasted a long time. Yes, and then I have some fake eyelashes. These are the Ardell Glamour Multi-Pack. These are my favorite. I think they're, they're less than $10 and they come in a four pack and you can wear them over and over. And then I also have this Duo Eyelash Adhesive Glue in Clear White to go along with them. Okay, the next thing I have is my foundation and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long wear liquid foundation in the shade 1.0 because I am very pale. I have the same thing and mine's in 2.0, but I probably need a 1.0, honestly. Yes, I did just realized that this was waterproof foundation. Did not know that. I didn't know that either. We haven't been in the water since we've used it, really. So then I also have this little mirror. Pretty dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have some Ulta illuminating powder for my highlighter. And this is in Yellow Diamond. Okay, I have my mascara, and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. A little sample of it, and then I also have what I use for my brows, which is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. None of the color, like the tinted brow gels, they don't match my eyebrows, so... I and I have clear. that as well, except mine is in the shade Caramel. This stuff lasts you so Forever. long. I bet I've had this... I bet I had my other two for like a year and a half. It's ridiculous. This one's already probably three or four months old. Yeah. Crazy how long they last. And then I have a eyelash curler by Tarte. And then also I have some my eyeshadow base. This is by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. I got it in my Ipsy bag a few years ago and I just repurchased it. And it's in the shade Submissive. Yes, and I also have that. 
and then some tweezers. And then I have, let me do my lip products. I have a the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks in Shockaholic. And that's actually what I'm wearing right now, if you're wondering. And then after I apply my lipstick, I either apply one of these two things on top of it. And this is the Estee Edit by the Estee Lauder Photo, Flash Photo Gloss. And this is the e.l.f. Lipstick and Bear Kiss. And then I also have some Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I have that, that stuff too. works really well. I know they've redone the packaging, and I don't know if it's a new formula or if they just redone the packaging. They have redone it? Yeah. When? They, it's brand new. Like oh. it's only like a week or two. Old. I was about to say because I just got this for Christmas. Yep. And then some my lip product. This is pretty much what I use. If I wear, yeah, if I wear a lipstick, this is pretty much what I use. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick, and it's happening. That's what I'm wearing today. It's a bright pink color. Yes. My favorite. And then I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in Fair. Yes, that's what I use too. And this also lasts you forever. All the Urban Decay makeup, I feel like, lasts forever. Yeah, mine is the liquid. The liquid, I can go the liquid about three um, three months, which is a long time considering it is foundation. And then I have this little Q-tips container. It's empty. And then I keep bobby pins in the bottom of it. Okay, and then for, like, highlighting and contour, I have the Naked um, Flushed Palette. And then I also have, which I use this one more, but the other one stays in my makeup bag in case I need it. The Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I love this. It smells so good. And then my favorite blush is from the Lorac Unzipped Cheap Palette. I'm sad they don't carry this anymore. Yes, I have that too. But I always use this shade right up here, and it's the shade Unapologetic. I always either use Underrated or Unashamed. I never use the dark color. I use these two. Oh, gosh. And then for eyeshadow, I pretty much use the... I use all kinds of stuff, but these are the ones I keep with me on a daily basis, I would say. This, these are from the Too Faced um, Christmas in New York palette, I believe. This is the Gingerbread Cookie, and then this is the Eggnog Latte palette. I thought that was the Grand Hotel Cafe. Oh, it is the Grand Hotel Cafe. You right. So, these have super pretty shades, a lot of neutrals, and you can just do a lot with these palettes. And they're small, there's, so they're easy. Yeah, to... there's also another one I just... Don't usually don't use it as often. It's more pinkies. Okay, and then my eyeshadow palettes. I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Again, my favorite. I use this one more than I use my other one, but I used to use this one a lot. And this is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky. And I use this one if I want like a darker look. So there's one that looks like. Yes, and this is the one that I use for. I probably had this for three years, and I used it on a daily basis for probably a year and a half. No joke. I mean, I've hit pan on one too three, four, five. Five of the shades. And this is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Has so many neutrals. This was my first palette ever. So, kind of crazy. Okay, and this And one, it's something I still use to this day. Okay, and my last thing, actually, it does not fit in my makeup bag, but I like to use it. And it is pretty much everything you could need all in one. This is from the Tarte Christmas oh, collection. And I think the lipstick and the mascara is not in there, but there oh, is here's some the eyeliner. eyeliner. Here's the lipstick that was in it. This is the Tarte Tartius Glossy Lip Paint. Yes, but I love this palette. Do you actually need this back? I do. It was in some of my makeup. So we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also head over to Anna's channel and check out what's in her makeup bag and all of her videos. We know you will all love them just as much as we do. Yes, and leave that lipstick emoji. We know you guys seriously love her channel. She's become a great friend of ours. Yes, she has. So make sure you go say hi to her and yeah. also hit that red subscribe button down below. Yes, so thanks for watching K&K and I'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys! guys.